The best protection comes from two doses in a two-dose series, but uh, data available for the two vaccines that are currently authorized indicate that a single dose offers some protection, anywhere from 50 to 80 percent efficacy. The initial uh, response uh, comes around two weeks after your uh, dose of vaccine. It's about as long as it takes for your immunity to kick in, uh, your antibodies to develop, and so forth. Side effects uh, are common with both vaccines that are currently authorized, but they tend to be relatively minor. Most people report either uh, tenderness or swelling at the site of the injection, uh, headache, uh, fatigue, sometimes body aches, and uh, rarely uh, fever. Uh, and in, in those cases, for the most part, people can take acetaminophen or Tylenol or uh, ibuprofen to help with those symptoms. Generally speaking, they only last uh, 24 to 48 hours as well. well nothing happens per se, uh, but so far we really uh, would like people to continue to take that second dose uh, if possible, because that really offers the highest level of efficacy, probably around 90 to 95 percent uh, for both the vaccines that are currently available. Since we want folks to take the second dose in the two-dose series, the, the goal would be to then get it as soon as possible. Like most vaccines, um, you can always take the second dose later than the interval indicates. Uh, but since the studies really were done based on the 21-day or 28-day interval, it's important to try to get that second dose close to that as possible. The injection's the same, uh, same dose, same volume, uh, but it does uh, boost your immunity, hence the name, to offer um, you know, the, the highest level of, of efficacy from the vaccine, and presumably it also uh, allows the vaccine to work longer uh, over a period of time. If you don't, there's some recent uh, reports from Moderna that uh, say that they feel like it lasts at least a year. Uh, and that may be also true for the Pfizer vaccine, given that they're very similar. So the hope is that it, it, that would be something that uh, would at least be a year in terms of protection. It's currently not recommended to mix the vaccine. So uh, whatever brand you receive for your first dose, you should seek to get the same uh, for your second dose. The COVID vaccine is indicated for pregnant women. Uh, and uh, pregnancy is on the list of priority conditions for phase uh, 1B that's outlined by the Texas uh, Expert Vaccine Allocation Panel. Um, I think it's often recommended that pregnant women discuss their particular situation with their healthcare provider just to see what works best for them. For COVID infection, um, the natural immunity from uh, that is relatively unknown, uh, and it can vary uh, amongst individuals. And so it's felt that the vaccine, uh, which has been shown to be effective in reducing symptomatic disease, is uh, a better way to ensure immunity uh, and also thought to last longer. The answer is no. Um, the clinical trials that were used to study the vaccines didn't actually determine whether the vaccine prevents transmission. And so it's very possible that getting a vaccine could reduce your likelihood of illness, but still allow you to transmit that uh, disease to somebody else who either hadn't been vaccinated uh, or is still vulnerable. So the recommendations are at least until we have enough people who are immunized uh, to maintain the, the protections that we've been doing. If everyone that you're around in close proximity has been immunized, it's uh, very likely that you all are protected from uh, the symptomatic effects of disease. Uh, but since uh, any of you could still potentially transmit the disease, uh, you have to be very cautious about how you are around others. And I think that's the important message to remember.
We don't actually know whether the vaccine prevents you from getting infected. What we do know is the efficacy data support uh, what is essentially the prevention of symptomatic disease. So you are much less likely to become ill uh, if you get the vaccine than if you didn't have the vaccine.